So I almost thought it was uh, lunchtime when we got this one out. Well, Max, not yet. We still got some work to do here, but we're getting there. Yeah, this is a very special project. It's a pretty big board. It's a Formula board. I don't know if you know, um, Fnatic's been pretty heavily involved into the Formula some years back, and uh, I have to admit I was quite happy when the boss decided, well, we're going to take it a bit easy on the Formulas now and stop for a couple of years. <laughs> Then uh, Mr. Eberly here came back on board and forced me back into it. But now I have to say I'm quite happy because we came up with a good design. And tell us a little bit about it, Danny. <laughs> Got Sebastian really excited on that project. He loves it. Never mind. Uh, it was time to introduce the uh, Formula Board for Fnatic again as we have a full quiver of slalom boards to uh, offer plus the speed line. We do have to have a Formula Board in our range and we wanted to make sure we have the best one around, so we invested quite a bit of R&D in that one. And I think we got the proper loft boat to win races. Sounds pretty good, Danny. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the shape here. The shape is actually quite uh, easy. We got the box rule, which is uh, a bit more than a meter wide, which we are especially into that rule. We got quite a bit of volume. We got 170 liter volume, which you need for a 12.5 meter sail down to 12, 11, whatever the guys choose. And it has to perform all, all, around, all around the world. It has to play in easy, it has to go in waves. And I think we found- In waves? In waves. There is sometimes races where you have high swell and okay. you have to survive even there. In the middle strap, fully sheeting on. Matteo had to do the photo shoot uh, here on Maui and saved his ass, that strap. And I think we have a board which is really competitive and I'm stoked. Nice. Just uh, quickly on some shape details here. We have the recess area, obviously much wider than on the slalom boards. Again, blend it in nicely so there's no edges. Uh, you walk around more on the board so you won't really actually feel it. Um, checking the rail shape also. Back here is pretty full, yet very comfortable. You can really lock your feet in and hold the board down. Uh, you can imagine this becomes quite essential when it gets a bit choppy out there with such a wide tail and a big fin. You need, really need to have a lot of control. What I noticed was a big change on these boards compared to my previous designs from the older days is that the one foot off measurement increased even further. It's nearly, nearly as wide as the center. As you can see, we have very little curve. Also, the nose section Basically, we run a very parallel outline all the way to the back and then finishing off with the cutouts that are essential um, to the release of the board. Makes so starting on easier. the outline, what you need, you need quite a long parallel rail in the front to go upwind as easy as possible. But to keep the speed and the acceleration, you need a bit of curve in the tail. Mm -hmm. That's why we, we do just have a slight curve in the tail. I remember that was actually to make the board come up a bit. If exactly. there's too much rail there, the board will drive down and you can't exactly. really lift it off the fin. Yeah? This is one important thing that then the cutout design, especially on the Formula board, is very, very important. So we got the, those steep uh, cutouts here for best release possible plus the little shallow ones which are helping still to get planing in light winds but releasing nicely mm -hmm. uh, as soon you plane. If those little side flats here which are really important to stabilize the board going downwind and upwind. We have a V in the front with some featuring double concave going into a bit deeper uh, V around the mass track like on the slalom boards going into a slight single concave under the feet and then finally ending up in some slight tail V just at the end of the board. This one is really important. Those flat sections are really important to give the trim of the board. So this is one of the most important uh, details on that shape. Also Danny, I'm noticing you've got a slightly different rail shape as you go further up the board. Can you tell me what this does up here? Max, those little chamfers are really important to go downwind as formula boards have really flat rocker lines and you go really, really steep downwind. You have to make sure you're not catching with your nose and uh, catapult. So okay. I actually made that especially for you. So okay. all the freestyle guys Thank can you. race on the formula board. So as well. it's accessible for me as well. It is. Great.